Hi, this is Susie from Monkey Pots. I get quite a few questions about how our fence or deck rail planter works. So I decided to do a little video showing you how to assemble it and how it attaches to your deck railing or your fence. Okay, so when it comes in the box, you get two planters, two self-watering planters. You get a fence hook, is that's what we call the attachment device, and we have a fence ladder, which is what we call the piece that sits out like so. In the planter, you get a tray and a tube. The tray is the white part, the tube is this. Uh, when you're setting it up, you can either put your tube and tray so you water on the right-hand side, or you can set it up so you water on the left-hand side. Do what is ever more convenient for you. To change it around, you simply just flip it. Okay, to start putting your planter together, it's pretty easy. You'll get a hook like this in your package. And what's cool about this is it will attach on anything from one inches to up to four inch fence. What you want to do is just set it up on your fence or your deck railing, adjust it to the size of your railing, and then just tighten down these two little nuts that are at the top here. Easy, very simple. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach what we call the fence ladder. This attaches really easy and only takes a second. So it attaches like so, and now you have a pretty sturdy uh, fence system here. Um, if you have ballast truths, um, or spindles, I don't know what everybody calls them, but whatever they, they're called, um, just make sure you lean it against one of them so it gives you some stability there. Okay, after that is done, um, I suggest you test it by using empty planters, make sure you're happy with it before you fill these with dirt and plants. That way you can make sure you're happy with where it is. So anyway, from there all you do is attach, there's little hooks on the back of here that are super strong, never had one break or come back to me. Um, you just simply stick it in these two slits there and just like so, it's attached. You do the same with the other one. And that's about all there is to setting up a monkey pots fence planter. All right, so here I put in some marigolds, so you can see what it looks like planted with marigolds. Um, simple to plant. Please use potting soil. Don't use just dirt from the garden. Use a little bit of organic fertilizer following your manufacturer's directions. Um, that's about all there is to it. When you get ready to fill the tube with water, um, it holds approximately a quart of water. You can either fill it using a hose or you can fill it by hand. And how you know you need more water is you'll actually kind of feel that they get empty feeling. And then you can look into the tube and you'll see water at the bottom. If you don't see any water at the bottom, it may need more water. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is if you have this on the deck, we decided to put actually a little drain on the side that opens and closes. And the reason we did that is that some people actually don't want their planter draining onto their patio all day long. So what we did is, this is closed, it should remain closed as long as you're using it as a self-watering planter. The only time you'll really want to open it is if for some reason it gets overwatered. And that would be basically you have a big storm or something and your planter gets soaked and you need to get some of the water out of there. You just flip the little drain open, which is on this side of the planter, just give it a little flip open and then remember to close it when you want to go ahead and start using it as a self-watering planter again. Also, growing herbs and vegetables in this could not be any easier. You can put it right outside your patio door and you've got herbs and vegetables whenever you want. Here I have bok choy and lettuce and below cilantro. I hope you find that to be helpful. This is Susie from Monkey Pots. Happy gardening.